Hey guys, this is December the 13th, 2021, so I'm going back in time uh, and covering things that I have not covered and people have asked about, and they've asked about LP and what has taken place. So I'm going to start our journey back in December 13th, 2021, and LP's walking down here, and this is nothing but an icy mess. Uh, a rough cut road uh, through the land that we tried to navigate but we didn't make it very far going up this road because it is so slippery rough terrain LP what was that rough terrain yeah absolutely I'm telling you this is what we're walking on yep it's it's frozen, frozen. crystal mud uh, we uh, we we got we're learning. I mean, we're learning big time. It's like going to college oh, to I'm learn sure. about property and stuff. Yeah. Look, look up through there, up through the woods there. Oh, the sun's coming out, coming through the trees. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking up, I, I get I get dizzy. Mm -hmm. This could be a 70 70 That could be. Okay, let's get your glove on. Yeah. Okay, you start. I'll catch up. Okay, I'm going to This is just one more of our uh, trips that we have made that turned out really, uh, we, it was scary basically being on this piece of land and it was so dangerous to walk on and uh, the rough cut road and the iciness and the coldness of that day. And uh, it was just, um, you know, <laughs> very difficult. And we couldn't really look at the land. We only were able to go so far on this rough cut road. And then it was just too treacherous because if we would have fallen, we would have been really <laughs> not in very good shape. So, um, Anyway, uh, our trip was just disastrous from start to finish. We take Sparky with us. Sparky, of course, is miserable, our box turtle, every second of the trip uh, going and coming. And we always have to make a really quick trip because we have to have somebody take care of things here, our greenhouse and things. So uh, it's, it's never a pleasurable time. I see other people having uh, their vacations and they have a really good time and they're happy together and we have never once had a vacation that we were happy, enjoyed ourselves, and was able to relax and any of that. So I marvel at other people that have that blessing in their life where they have that time to get away and actually unwind and enjoy themselves. We never, ever, ever have had that. So... Um, we left here uh, scared to death of this piece of property. The reason that I'm filming this is I love nature. I love trees. I try to save trees, even the dead ones in our yard, so that the birds will have a roosting place, a place to sit to have some safety against the hawks around here. And this sort of thing is so sad to see that just how much devastation uh, that there's just hardly any trees, basically, is what I'm trying to get out. And you just see miles and miles of just barren land that um, is used, I suspect, for a lot of corn and soy and the grains and the the GMO foods and in just miles and miles and you can see what few patches of trees there there are and even the the people that um, have cattle and all I mean they like shade too <laughs> you know I mean you just see them out in this heat laying down in these barren um, barren acres and acres and acres 
of, uh, of land that has been so devastated and mutilated with uh, all of this uh, herbicides and pesticides. And I'll, I'll tell you, I don't know if there's any hope that things will turn around and people will start having food forests and using their land to, to grow fruits and vegetables and greens and, and um, you know, have compatible, instead of monocrops, have, you know, a variety uh, of um, crops to, uh, that's compatible with each other. And there's so much that could be done, and I don't think it's too late if people start seeing and realizing the value of trees. I mean, they're the lungs of our earth. I mean, we, we need them. We need them. We need them. And uh, it's just sad to see that there's so many people now, they just have that chainsaw going or have you know, have all, all this equipment going and just, and just, you know, just chopping down trees and having a field day. And a lot of it is just greed. But I was really happy to see that Doug and Stacy, Doug had a really good video on, um, you know, trying to change things and trying to value the preciousness of uh, nature and of trees. Uh, and um, he he's done videos where you just see mountains of of trees that have been cut down. And he was so proud about it and and how he was influenced by uh, someone that is constantly, uh, you just hear that old chainsaw just cutting down, you know, I mean, just chop, 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 chop on the, the, the trees that he has gotten. <laughs> and um, he, I mean, some people is just so filled with greed that they don't think past that. All they think about is buying a piece of land, chopping down all the trees, displacing all the wildlife, and I love turtles and frogs, and I've seen them crushed in areas where they're clear-cutting. And it is just where they're trying to get away, and they can't. I mean, it is just so, so sad. And there is one person in particular that is really having a field day. And I, I go into the kitchen, and I try to fix a meal, and, and LP is listening to this chainsaw just roaring and roaring and roaring. And this guy is so happy about, you know, he's just making money hands over fist, you know, by way of, uh, you know, <laughs> by way of destruction of, of our precious trees. And, uh, but Doug and Stacy, Doug has turned around now. He realizes you can't keep taking, taking. You have to give, give back and you have to, um, you know, you have to do what you can to improve things instead of continuing on a path of complete destruction. That's it, guys.